Hello, welcome to the world of literature. At world of literature, we have been dealing with UGC net set lessons. And uh, in the initial stage, we are dealing with the question, what to study for UGC net set or UGC net in English? Who are the writers that we should study from different ages? So far, uh, we have dealt with Elizabethan age, we have dealt with Jacobian age, we have dealt with Puritan age. Today, we will take up a restoration age. Now, restoration age is a very critical time period in the history of English literature because it was somehow the restoration of monarchy which took place in 1660. So, the period of restoration age would be from 1660 to 1700. The 40 years time would be considered as the restoration age. Now, the restoration age uh, saw some drastic social changes and some social restoration in England from the Puritan era, which also lasted for around 20, 30 years in England under Oliver Cromwell and others. Now, who are the important writers from this age? Let's have a look. We have John Dryden, we have Samuel Butler, we have John Locke, we have Samuel Pepys, we have George Etheridge, we have William Wycherley, we have John Vanbrugh, and we have William Congreve. Now, these are some of the writers that you will have to study uh, in context of the UGC net exam if you are preparing for that exam. And from restoration age, these six, seven writers are very significant. Now, at the top of the ladder is John Dryden. Well, there is a there is a time period in this restoration age when John Dryden was writing on its peak that some of the historians would classify that time period as the Dryden's age or even this restoration age belongs to John Dryden because he stands tall among all other writers of this age. He is a dramatist, he is a critic, and he is a great satirist of that age. Now, what are important works of John Dryden? He has written Annus Mirabilis, he has written Of Dramatic Poesy, he has written All for Love, he has written Absalom and Achitobel, he, had, he has written The Medal, A Satire Against Sedition and MacFlacon. Now these are some of the important works of uh, John Dryden. Now which one are to be studied as detailed and non-detailed? Let's have a look. So far as Annus Mirabilis is concerned, it's not a very significant work, but is an impactful work of John Dryden. So a non-detailed study would be required for this work if you are preparing for net exam. Uh, of Dramatic Poesy is a very significant work because it is a critical work like that of Apology for Poetry so of Philip Sidney and, and uh, it, it is difficult to find a second essay uh, before of dramatic poesy. One would say that the, an Apology for Poetry in Elizabethan age was a critical essay and then uh, after around a hundred years we had of dramatic poesy. So of dramatic poesy becomes important work and it must be studied in depth, in detail. All for love. Uh, this is a play by uh, John Dryden. So it, it is important that you know the plot overview of this play and it, it is actually uh, a continuation of Cleo Antony and Cleopatra by, by, John, by William Shakespeare. Absalom and Akitopo is one of the greatest satires that uh, John Dryden has written. Absalom and Achitopel and MacFlacon are the two satires which need to be studied in detail because uh, the fame of John Dryden would rest upon these two satires. They will represent the, the, the literary rivalry of the age, they will represent the uh, political plots of that particular age, they will represent the essence of satire in English literature. So all these things combined make these two works great works by John Dryden. So these two works also need a detailed analysis, a detailed study, an in-depth study. Now uh, besides Absalom and uh, Achitopel and MacFlacon, the other works like uh, the medal, uh, a satire against sedition are non-detailed study works. They need not to be studied in that detail. So that was from John Dryden. These are the works that you have to study in detail. These are the works that you have to study as non-detailed. 
Next writer from Restoration Age is uh, Samuel Butler. Samuel Butler is known for Hudibras. Hudibras uh, is a non-detailed study work. Uh, Samuel B Butler is not very famous work, uh, but it's important since there are there are not there are not many writers from this age. So it would be better that you remember the name Samuel Butler and even the title of his work Hudibras. John Locke. Now John Locke would be very influential writer from restoration age particularly from the philosophy kind of view. he would not be writing plays or poems uh, or satires he would be looking into some uh, more serious kind of a stuff. Uh, some philosophical kind of the work, some critical kind of the works. So uh, John Locke becomes significant from this, that perspective. John Locke is known for uh, essay concerning human understanding. Now this essay concerning human understanding would be a very laborious kind of a work but it would be better if you know uh, an overview of this particular work if there are any important points that you need to remember uh, that would be sufficient it won't be important uh, in, in, in this regard that you go very much in detail of this work the next writer from restoration age after John Locke is Samuel Pepys well Samuel Pepys is a diary writer he is uh, uh, particularly uh, known in the modern times for the diary that he kept from 1950s to 1960s and in that diary uh, he would note down the events that took place in that revolutionary time period where Oliver Cromwell was beheaded and uh, Charles I was restored and the events that unfolded in those 10 years were written by Samuel Pepys in his diary. So as a diary writer he becomes very important. Now it won't be necessary for you to know the details of what he had, has mentioned or written in the diary, it would be sufficient to know that uh, he's a diary writer and he kept that diary in 10 years from 1950 to 1960. Next is George Etheridge. Now George Etheridge, William Wycherley, John Wenbro and William Congreve were very significant writers. Significant uh, because they brought in revival of drama in English literature. 1642, the Puritan age marked the close of the theatre in England. For many years drama wasn't written in England. It was only after 1660 that writers like Etheridge, Vicarle, Venbro, Congreve, I know they revived the drama in English literature. However, the drama that these writers would be writing would not be similar either uh, to those of uh, John Webster or to the Elizabethan dramatist. The plays that they wrote uh, were the comedy of uh, manners what we know them. Uh, so George Etheridge is known for love in a tub. He is known for the man of mood. Now amongst these two the man of mood is more important and impactful work by uh, George Etheridge. It would be uh, good if you know uh, a detailed summary of this particular play as far as the tale of a tub is concerned. A minor plot overview would be sufficient. William Wycherley is known for The Plan Dealer and The Country Wife. The Plan Dealer uh, is an important work and The Country Wife is uh, the most controversial work that uh, William Wycherley had written. It was a work which was even not allowed to, to get published in, in Restoration Age and there were many people who reacted harshly to the publication of this particular work because the title in itself is very offensive one and he had to go through revisions of this play and all those things happened so the country wife would be important and the plan dealer it's better that you know the plot overview of these two plays john van bro john van bro is not very significant playwright but since his name often erupts when we uh, in, in the same breath when we talk about etheridge wycherley congrave so van bro is also there van bro is known for the relapse the provoked wife now both these things the relapse and the provoked wife would Piece, it would be sufficient to go have a non-detailed study of these works have a slight plot overview last in the list we have William Congreve William Congreve is one of the most significant dramatist of this particular time period he uh, represents the plays of restoration age or the restoration comedy he uh, wrote the plays like the old bachelor the double dealer and the way of the world now among us these three plays the way of the world is most important play written by William Congreve the way of the world would be a detailed study work and the old bachelor and the double dealer uh, would be the plays uh, 
about which if you have a non-detailed study or you know the plot overview and um, a little bit of information about these plays would be sufficient. So that was from the restoration age. These are the writers whom you will have to study for net exam and these were their works and we also discussed at length which are to be studied as detailed and which are to be studied as non-detailed. That is all that we have from the world of literature in this lecture. Thank you for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe and like the world of literature. A comment or two would also be appreciated. Thank you for watching the world of literature and keep watching the world of literature.